I mean, there, there's a bunch of different factors. I mean, you guys know this when you're making a decision on whether or not to stay with a team or who your new team is going to be. But a little over eight million dollars for for someone that is as talented and durable as Masahiro yes. Tanaka. I would think there would be a bunch of teams all over him. And maybe they were. It's just he had his heart set on the Yankees. We don't know. That has to be it. I mean, I just do not find any other explanation of why he wouldn't go somewhere else. If not the Yankees, somewhere else. I mean, this is a guy that has been so durable over the years. He's on the mound, takes the ball every fifth day, throwing 160 plus innings, um, you know, every single time, every single season. The fact that he went back home tells me that he wanted to do so you know he wanted to go back to his it was either uh, Yankees roots. or home yeah one of the two okay. and, and, and and that was it there is no way there was no interest from other ball clubs because this is a guy that I would be jumping on immediately especially at this price yeah and, and Cliff if you're a, a team other than the Yankees maybe you overpay you know yeah. maybe you kind of you got to up the ante a little bit and again we, we don't know maybe that that in fact did did happen but you know when you think about his team back home in Japan they referred to him as, as a their hero. hero. Yeah. <laughs> their heroes back home. So, you know, when you when you look at where he's at in his career, you know, if he wasn't overwhelmed with anything on this side, you go across the waters and go back to where he's he's on another level as far as just how they're going to appreciate him. More opportunities probably from a stand, you know, from a standpoint of maybe branding himself. Yeah. There's a lot of things that go into this that, you know, I mean, instead of racking your brain, and because I am, you know. <laughs> taken back at the how you let this guy go. Yeah. I mean, he's going to give you not just, you know, we've been talking about quality innings and all. He's he's pitched in big games and had good results. There are You guys right? know this. There are some players that aren't ready for this stage, aren't ready for what this city can do to you. Give Tanaka was not that guy. The he, ball. Was, he took the ball and did not wilt from that pressure. Will the Yankees regret not bringing him back? I say yes. I think when you look at how they're situated right now, there's a ton of unknowns in that rotation other than Gary Cole. Yeah. And if you're going to break down this whole, you know, rotation right now, Corey Kluber, yeah, he's been great, but that's a question mark. Jameson Tyon, yeah, he he's, has a big upside, but he's had two Tommy Johns. On down this list, you're looking at a lot of unknown, and that to me, when you look at the whole AL East and how you talk about the offensive side of this yeah. thing, you can talk about pitching on, on, on every team. But when you look at the, the, the AL East and how it's situated as far as offensively, that that is not going to get it done, and you know, you know, unless Garrett Cole is out there. Yeah. But if those guys should come back and bounce back, Corey Kluber's and Jamison Tyon, then you're talking about a team that if they keep the offensive side healthy. And, and beat teams up like they can do day in and day out, then you, then you, then you get by. But I, I don't look at that rotation and say the Yankees are the top favorite based on what they've done in the past. Severino is interesting for me, uh, Carlos. Uh, obviously, he's coming off Tommy John surgery, as I said, uh, due back midseason. But everyone reacts differently to a major injury. You just don't know. But if he's back and, and right, that's filthy. Yeah, he, he's really good. I mean, the talent is most definitely there. His stuff works. But... What are we going to get? You know, you're coming back from uh, that surgery. There are a lot of uh, uncertainty behind it, even though I must say that we've seen guys actually blossom and get even better, even throw harder after Tommy John surgery. So we'll see what happens with Severino. But the Yankees indeed are, are taking a leap of faith uh, here because there's a lot of uncertainties. It all depends on health. If it works, man, it looks like a very, very nice rotation. Mm -hmm. But... If it doesn't, which it is a possibility, yeah. then now they will indeed regret um, missing out on uh, Tanaka.